Michael Spiegel, Spiegel, man, ma na na na. I might have gone to a wrong chord there. Okay. Let us watch a full length movie on YouTube with Michael Spiegel, man, and Carl. Let us watch a full length movie on YouTube with Michael Spiegelman and Carl. Bala Mike. Welcome to L W A F L M O Y T. Very important acronym. It's <laughs> Let's Watch a Full Length Movie on YouTube with Mike Spiegelman. And Carl. Hi, Carl. Hi, Mike. Let us watch a full-length movie on YouTube with Michael Spiegelman and Carl. Let us watch a full-length movie on YouTube with Car Michael Spiegelman and Carl. La da da. Da, 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 da. Oh, L W A F L M O I T. I'm Paul Brumbot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Let's Watch a Full Length Movie on YouTube with Mike Spiegelman and Carl. Hi, Carl. Hi, hi, Paul Brumbot. How are you? No, thanks for having me on. I'm glad oh, that we're wait, doing. What are you doing? What's with you, man? You're, you're you wrote that theme song we just heard. Right. Yeah, I did, but. That was you, in the service of the guest spot that I figured I would, you Okay. Know. Well, we have a special guest here at Let's Watch a Full Length Movie with Mike Spiegelman and Carl. It's guest Carl. Oh, my God. My head's going to explode. You're a Klein bottle of, of uh, irregularities. Listen, <laughs> this show doesn't exist without you. You are the host, producer, uh, thieves out. You I usually, think it was around for a year before I showed up, but okay, I appreciate it's that. It's been over one long year. <laughs> I remember when I well, wrote that for my guest spot back in uh Oh, my 19- God. Let's, can we start our show, please, here on MutinyRadio.fm? We are streaming right now on MutinyRadio.fm, as we do every Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 5 o'clock for you East Coasters. What we like to do is we love movies, and we read about them. But we can't have access to it until the internet. Now they're all on YouTube. So not only are we going to watch it, we want to watch it with you. Let us watch a full-length movie on YouTube. You go to YouTube, you click the link, you watch an entire movie with the sound off, and you listen to our podcast at the same time. Don't listen to the podcast alone. It's not going to help you. You're going to turn into the Joker. Bad vibes. (laughs) We are a podcast. Uh, Check out the acronym L-W-A-F-L-M-O-I-T to check out our podcast and we are on youtube right now with video and uh where the movie is synced up carl what is the movie this week uh today we are going to revisit they're playing with fire 1984 oh my God. they're playing with fire this is something i saw with you once and you saw once before they're playing right. with fire 1984 and the channel we like is sean mclaughlin Okay, so we want you to look up They're Playing With Fire with the little apostrophe 1984. Yeah. When you find it being hosted by Sean McLaughlin, click the link, hit pause, move the timer to zero, zero, zero. Um, should we do the Brumbot for this week? Uh, do you want to do the Brumbot yeah. or should I yeah. pull out a- okay, In honor. Let's do the Brumbot. Because okay. I, I want to mention we had seen this movie before uh, and it really is a very popular movie among YouTube fans. It's not not the cynical reason why we're redoing it but it's such a bizarre movie i love it i absolutely love it we we watched it back in january of 2020 uh back when we were in st- okay we were back in the studio and uh we had the previous dj paul Brumba. pre-pandemic pre-pandemic wow. well and it's we were crazy in the studio. yeah and then two months later we were live in the studio uh for the comedy festival uh uh-huh. shirt uh-huh. i'm wearing uh so Paul Brumma would always do our intro because he was leaving the studio. Uh, and he did the intro originally for this movie. So in honor, let's crank out the old Brumbot. All right, so let's get this started. I am, I am ready. It was a live show. We're very excited to have Paul here as our countdown gentleman. Let's get ready to Brumbot. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get ready to rumble! Okay, so, let's get ready to rumble. And now, what you've all been waiting for, Master of the Descending Numerals. The Countdown King himself. Would you please welcome, Mr. Paul Brumba. All right, guys, you know the drill. Put that finger right over that triangle and do it in three, two, one, go. This is a Hickmar production. Uh -huh. It's the, uh, the director and his wife are writers and directors, and they've cranked out a bunch of films. That's the, the director, Howard Avidez. Oh, here comes my favorite song. Now... They're Playing With Fire is a terrible title. We mentioned last time, yeah. it's because it's a porn movie called Playing With Fire. <laughs> that came out around the same time, so they quickly changed it. The thing is, though, in the movie, they're never playing with fire. They're never, like, getting close to something attractive and exciting, but they, you know, but has a danger that could hurt you. That's playing with fire. That's this not the plot of this film. What, what stays with me with this movie is that it presents a femme fatale film noir of a young, hapless white guy who's in over his head and he's doomed. Except it isn't. Now, here is, of course, Sybil Danning, the yeah. great, great, great Sybil Danning, uh, just rocking it. Just chilling out here at the Lillian. You know, Lillian, the yacht, is named after uh, Michael's mother. Get the fuck out of here. Which Michael? Uh, her husband. Oh, okay. Now that, yeah, she is going to play heavily into the plot, but only in the beginning. Right. And by the way, Ocean View College, where's the, where, where's the Ocean View? <laughs> I don't see it. Well, yeah. I do see Memphis William View Shakespeare. College, that I could get. Now it kind of looks like Berkeley, I guess. What this With, is, um, Marina Del Rey, California. I remember from my research because yes. that was a site that we had at work. There was a, a switching center in Marina Del Rey, and I always thought, can I was like, we should really go out there and check it out, boss. Uh, you should send me on a trip to Marina Del Rey. Oh yeah, and you go to the Trade Winds Marina. Now uh, this movie is based on Macbeth, and we're here at college. That bikini woman. She had, she was late for work, so she got dressed up. Yeah. Sybil's also a college professor. And that mouth breather is Eric Brown. <laughs> I want to say up front, I respect Eric Brown. I think the chem the romantic chemistry in this movie is so a kilter that it makes it a, a special film. And I don't know if it's his fault. I respect the guy. Did you know he's a podcaster now? No, that's interesting. Maybe he'd do our countdown. Too bad we already employed the Brumbot. What? No, skip it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's give Eric Brown a call. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh, hello, Washington, D.C. information. Yes, uh, I'd like to get Eric Brown, please. I oh, have the Eric Brown? listings. Do you mean me? My name is Eric Brown. Oh, yes, I moonlight as... Now, guys, she, mentioned, you know. she mentioned Macbeth up front, and then she's like, okay, guys, see you later. Oh, Jay, can I see you after class? Now, wait, isn't Macbeth the one in which, like, uh, this guy Denzel has a victory Washington. with this, and he comes across the three witches with his partner? Yes. Mm -hmm. his, I don't his, see how this is Macbeth. Well, there's Lady Macbeth, who is uh, pushing her husband into gaining more power. Okay, now this woman, R.I.P. in the film. Uh, I like you, Eric Brown. Hey, she comes right up. Hey, can I go on a date with you? Blow off. Buzz off. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Now, here oh, is his awful man. friends. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. They, they're completely disposable. And this poor guy has to play like a, a fat guy, as we mentioned. It doesn't even click. It just right. doesn't even click. He it does have... He didn't have like three pizzas or... Do you remember what he puts on his pizza? So, uh, I re I just remember that it was quirky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anchovies and mustard. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay, so, yeah, because the writer was like, what's the weirdest thing we could think of? Um, I think okay, he improvised so, it. I don't think it was in the script. So we saw the professor sunbathing, and then she's in class looking all professorly. And then she says to Eric, what's his name? Is it Eric? 
It's Jay Richards. Jay. She says to Jay, come to my boat and paint. Something like that. Right. Come work that. for me. Okay. Damn. Now it's, I bet you this is the same shot. She, whoa, she's, it's amazing. Amazing. You know, uh, I'd mentioned it before. The uh, Kino Lober DVD yeah. has her you know, in her 70s talking about this film. And she really liked the director. She liked, She's just great. She always has a presence. She always understands how these films work, and she always plays it to her advantage. Um, you had mentioned in our previous episode that she's a strong woman. Uh-huh. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of exploitation, but she really has fun with it, unlike Jay. Now, Jay looks great, right? He looks like a popsicle with a pair yeah. of shorts on there. Yeah. That's his role uh, as the kid. Right. And he has this earnestness that he goes with, which works. But it's also his acting is not really good. Is she laying on the wet paint, the dummy? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get a little varnish on. Do you see that poor sunburn she has? Yes. I, you know, I just see it. On her arms, Carl. Carl, I was talking about her arms. Oh, not her boobs. Now, the thing her is, boobs are burnt. Um, the, in, I remember, okay, full disclosure to the audience, this was two years ago and I do not remember the research in the film, but I do as I'm watching and I remember that they in real life didn't like each other and that hurt their chemistry on screen. Absolutely. That's probably one of the reasons why this movie stayed with me. This is the worst romantic uh, uh, romance I've seen. Like, oh boy. You were going <laughs> to say like, romantic hey. comedy by mistake, but you should have said romantic porno. Yeah. She's like, hey, you want a bump? Would you care for some <laughs> champagne? I'll have a beer. Shh. It's She's a Miller Lite. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, can we take a break? Like, do you remember Robin Leach and Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous, the 80s kind of vibe? Of course I remember Robin Leach. You remember Robin Leach. I'm and here with Mike Love and the Beach Boys. On the way to the mansion. Of Mike Lee of the Beach Boys. So did a lot of that 80s consumerism, rich, ostentatious gaudiness. Reaganism is age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is total Reaganist. I mean, this boat, let's let's be real. This is a yacht on the Marina del Rey. When was the last time you seen a yacht on the Marina del Rey? Also, have I you ever seen Marina del Rey? So but I, I hear your point. Yeah. So and it's huge. Well, okay. She's trying to seduce him, and he's like, yeah, I do like uh, Sports Illustrated. I got this phone. You know, he's completely – she's she's vibing, and he's not. Oh, they touched hands. Why are you so afraid of him? I'm not. I'm not. Because you're going to say you don't like me, do you? Oh, no, I like you a lot. Oh, I forgot to put the closed captioning on. I might have to <laughs> – oh, bummer city. It's too Look late. at that kiss! Do you see that kiss? Well, it would. I would have to pause the movie. He just kissed her. He just kissed her grand, his grandmother. <laughs> uh, uh, Whoa. Whoa! Look at that passion. Oh, I mean, he's you married. Hey, I can't touch your lips. Aren't you married? <laughs> I'm not in the habit of playing with fire, madam. So that there is that line is uttered, not there, but you're playing with fire. Fire playing with fire you oh it's uttered you're playing with fire yeah yeah oh, wow. he has this girlfriend from school that like is crazy about him all right here we go this is what we're playing for look what at this not in his pants that she needs to get so badly i i know like uh how much clothes <laughs> my goodness it's some sort of wiggle worm oh, i love this is such a funny scene you got to take your sneakers off to get the pants off, of course. Now, she's going to full on seduce him, and he's not going to shut up. Whoa! And... All right. Eight minutes into the film, as you mentioned last time. <laughs> I forgot. As I mentioned last time? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. And, you know, I it's all switcheroo. I have your old notes, and you wrote eight minutes into film. Now, he's talking. She seems to have areola. She seems. Oh, no, I see them. Now, look, she's into it. And then he's like, that's the only reason? They don't match. You know what I mean? I mean, she is like a 10. 
maybe not a 10. Her hair is a little flat. At she's old, 11. I'm not an asshole. She's 11. Uh, How can you say that? She's 11. And he's like Trade a four. Marina. Marina. I've driven by her. Yeah. Oh, I miss the San Francisco Marina. Now she's got this fancy car. So it looks like we're doing a, a film noir, right? She just seduces him. She's married. Yeah. Right. Uh, the husband's have, mother and grandmother has an estate that he can have if uh, they get murdered. If he plays his cards right. So she, you know, she's like kind of buttering him up. So what we start off is a film noir movie. And the film ends completely different. Do you remember? Okay, here it is. No. Oh, this dude. This is Brian. the husband. I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is our Star Trek connection, Carl. And he doesn't know. How many times does she have to take a shower in this film? With her right now. Um, his name is Andrew Pine, Andy Pine. And he's a, a veteran. He's been in like over 50 Westerns. He's still, he's still alive. Um, and he actually, him and Sybil were in, I recognize him from V. Do you remember V, the miniseries from the 80s where aliens mm -hmm. come down to peace? No, I guess and I'm thinking of the movie. No, I guess I don't know it. V. It, v. It was a very, it was like one million dollars an episode back in the eighties. It's basically wow. friendly humanoid aliens land on Earth. They come in peace. They're actually lizard people, and they cut. And they're an analogy of the Nazis. He was like one of the main characters, and she was in it too. I think she played uh -huh. one of the lizard people. So they, and that was after this film. But he's our Star Trek connection. He was in um, Next Generation. Ah, oh, perfect. We have a Star Trek connection. What's his last name again? Pine, Prine. right? With a with a R, Prine. Oh, because I was going like, to make a joke how she's pining for him, and oh. he won't. No, but it's she's not pining for him. Look, she's right next to his Willy Worm. The know, Willy she's... Worm. Well, this is because he's like, you know, screw it. I don't want the money, and she's like, oh, uh, let me here join you. <laughs> but darling. Now, here's the difference between actors, right? We just saw Eric Brown with her, and yeah. you see him, and he's engaged. Yeah, because in real life, he probably is like, this is a great role. <laughs> now, who was in Private Lessons? It, it was a That was Eric Brown. Woman. Yeah, that's, and you um, know, you had mentioned in your notes that uh, this the so-called star, he was in an earlier film called Private Lessons in 81 with uh, Sylvia Kressner, I forget. And, yeah. uh, you know, he gets seduced. He's a young guy. And the tagline in this movie, I want to. They bite there. off it, right? They yeah, right. It's like a sequel. Uh, okay, here's the tag. From his French maid, he got private lessons. Mm -hmm. Now his English professor is giving him a real education. Uh huh. Here, look at this. See, he's passionate. But he's actually not using their tongues. They're just rubbing faces. Right. But at least their lips are touching during an yes. erotic thriller. Uh. Hump you later. Oh, sorry. 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 Pfft, didn't think this would happen. So sorry. Did he already uh, prematurely? Sorry. Sorry. Up. Oh. Oh, uh, it's uh, the Campus View College. I call him Panther, Eric Brown, the way he runs. Panther? Panther? Yeah, because he has this really weird run. And, and later in the film, there's going to be like a chase and something. And he's like weird. So first he's a Panther. Then he runs. He's a Panther. <laughs> Speaking of Panther. Now, this is my favorite scene. Look at that bulge in his pants, right? He comes yeah, in, yeah. cock of the walk. And he says, I don't want to sleep with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> with this big bulge. I'm serious. She gave him three hundred dollars because he he has like loan problems. Uh huh. And uh, I want I want to give it back to you. Oh, here comes the husband. Whoa, Whoa! His hand, her hand was on his shoulder, chest area. Like for the longest time, I felt like the husband was in on it. He knew that that they had schemed a plan where they would get him, you know, hoo hawed and then uh, convince him to do this plan. Well, and the plan they is. Yeah, they're telling him. Yeah, so they're telling the plan right now. Look, it's simple. Just go into his grandma's house, scare him, pretend you're a burglar with a gun. Right, that's right. He'll bring this uh, uh, awkward rifle, mm -hmm. right? Won't he? 
the rifle will appear in the movie. The rifle is my favorite part of the movie, but it's in the mansion. Okay, okay. So he doesn't. He enters without it. Okay. No, he has a backpack and a can-do attitude. It's the stupidest thing. Look at this. Like, look at this. All right. Well. So tell us the plot. He's go- or the plan. He's gonna break in and scare her. Scare yeah. So this is the Stevens estate, and right now, uh, his mom, Michael's mom. Yeah, Lillian is pushing his grandma. Oh, and there's that dog. This dog's in it a lot. And I should mention, check out the choker. It's like a diamond choker. Ah, because they're rich. Get it? Look at the jewelry they're wearing in, on the house. They're rich. So they're talking. Let me get into the details of the storyline so we can get back to TNA. This hardly looks like a wheelchair. Uh, seriously, it looks like a self, like a like a chair with you know a desk chair with wheels, and they stuck handlebars on the back it really looks like that well maybe they have like a, a basket that they could have files and she could go to people's desks and, <laughs> uh, basket. all oh, right basket. i don't know where marina is this abandoned mansion they're up on the cliff there it is look at this place what the hell and they keep the those kids we saw the the yeah. mustard and anchovy uh dudes yeah yeah they like to party at the Stevens estate. They're going to go to the Stevens estate throughout this movie as a way of just like, eh, we're going to hang out at the Stevens estate. Is that a so, different place? No, this is this house. Oh, His last name is Stevens. Basically, the family, he's the only child, the only son, Carl. And I'm not going to change my tune. Okay. He is the only son. Wink, wink, wink. And uh, okay. there's, an, there's an inheritance. And... His father died, but his mom, Lillian, is still alive, and her mom is still alive, who's being pushed around in the wheelchair. Lillian, okay. you might recognize from Young and the Restless. Stay, look how he runs. Look at that panther. <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a hunchback panther. He's leaning forward because he's sneaking. He's sneaking, Carl. Do, do, do. Look at this house with the spiral staircase outside. Yeah. I love it. This is the Stevens estate. I'll go to the only open window. Perfect. Now, this cellar is like half the movie. And all the gun shot fire happen. A gun gets, the rifle will be shot in this room, like in four different scenes. Okay. He, yeah. So, I remember that. And I remember something about the phone was weird, but okay. Yeah. Well, you know, they're rich. So they have like the princess phone, you know, the little box. Uh, yeah. I'm using a flashlight because the, you know, movie lights. Are not enough to illuminate. Oh, okay. No, I want oh, you to meet. Dude. This is George. This is George the gardener, and he's been with the family for a long time. You know, the, he was there when the dad died, he's and I think work he, with the mom or something. Now, this is very strange. Now, as a gardener, you respect your work. You would never snip a rose and hand it to somebody, right? Um, maybe. I understand why, because you respect the garden, the garden. and yeah. what's living and growing. Now, he had some backstory. I I remember in the research there was some story to the actor. But okay. This is the one actor I didn't double check, but I have uh, I have your notes here. I'll take a look. Uh, do, do, do. I'll have to check. I don't know. This guy, he he's a he's a very creepy guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He actually like he does a lot of no-nos when that obsessed girlfriend starts snooping around. He comes up and he's like, grabs her. Hey, what are you doing, Missy? <laughs> Can't come in. No, he's not here. <laughs> Real yeah, nice. that's Look at Doggy. But I should mention, so he has a rose to her and you think it's romantic. And she says, what are you doing tonight? And he goes, I'm going to Martin's. To me, I think he's gay and like she gets pissed off. But Martin, it's the first time the name gets mentioned and it doesn't get mentioned until the big reveal. Okay. So frustrating. Oh. Absolutely frustrating. Yeah, that's why it isn't an actor's backstory. He's going to play into the end. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Like, I thought it was a romance. Now, the maid is drinking because she heard noises in the cellar and she's had it. Well, so has Lillian. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to have George drive you to the bus stop. You're out of here. And that's it. We never see her again. She doesn't show up. She's terrific at it. Look how pissed off she is. Did yep. she just say bitch? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is YouTube, God bless you. Full frontal nudity. Auto generate will give you an underscore for every bitch under. Because God Not forbid. Not from these two, right? 
Yeah. Now they're super rich, but you know, he has, she has an old TV set. She goes, I'm going to make you dinner. And she hands her the remote. And I mentioned this the last time. He said, aid is rev evangelist. I need your money. You know, you remember those guys? You remember that bit? Okay. Yes. Now, bitch. Bitch. She bitch. just said the same thing, right? Now, when yep. is she topless? Are we going to, I'm waiting for her. <laughs> She's, she's gonna be she's gonna take off the, edge. the table. Oh my goodness. Is he a poodle? Let me see here. <clears throat> Does Can you check your notes? Dog dot I dot com. Damn it, no, damn it. That damn dog's it, on the front that page. Okay, well, <clears throat> yeah, this is very I mean, very 80s. Now. I know it's such an 80s looking thing. This thing is like it's it looks like a what what it's for when you do tailoring, right? You have like a little I guess body. It looks like a knight, but yeah, it's well, it's just the helmet, and that's... the helmet never. We see that for fourteen times in this movie, but never really plays into it. What's up, what bitch? What are you growling at, doggy dog? What's up, bitch? Yeah, look at that. Look at the jewelry on the dog. Yeah. Well, the dog suddenly has spidey sense, and he's like, "Yeah, there's a intruder. A intruder alert. A intruder alert." Stop the humanoid. Get the intruder. <laughs> that was preserved. Oh, wait, that's the helmet? That... Helmet. I don't okay. remember him driving a motorcycle. I think it's just in the base, in the cellar, and it fits him. I don't Apples. remember him tailoring the clothes. Oh, mo oh, it's not the oh. helmet from the... Okay, it's a motorcycle helmet. Motorcycle ah! helmet. Caught! Caught! Wow. All I did was hide around the corner and the dog found me. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, what is it? I hear you. All right, now this is a mansion, so it she must take dinner? time to go. No, she's going. She's getting that rifle, Carl. Oh, hello, Grandma. Now the grandmother is deaf, so she's not going to hear any gunfire in the house. And for a close shoot, she pulls out a sniper rifle, which is better for like long range, I guess. But that plays into it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Takes time to go down the steps. And for the hey, first time in the movie. Yeah. All right. So this is the first time there's there's a gunplay in the cellar. Perfect. Gets out the window. Look at this panther. Whoa. He's not, he's not sneaking. Cause, and then she gets to the second floor balcony window from the cellar. Well, the first floor is balcony We should window. have made that shot. Oh She's my god, how fun is it? Look at that. There's no obstruction. It's the most dangerous game. No, that was a different film. That was on the set of King of King, King Kong, Kong. Yeah. They shot it the same year. Same people. Same people. Ooh, yeah. yeah. What's going on? I was just watching the TV. So all right, so there's an intruder and the grandma's doing her grandma shtick. Put the gun down there. Wow. Now, okay. But yeah, that's the funny phone. Well, he's gone, or is he? I, give me your is, money. You would think great grandma would be so freaked out. What's this? What's whose sneakers oh, are these? It's son. No, Carl, we don't know. This is a film noir. Is it civil wearing men's clothing? Is it I Michael? Saw is this it film? Is it Andy Prime? Yeah, we saw this film. The worst, <laughs> the worst re reveal. Oh, suddenly this dog's like shh, quiet, right? Meaning Our the heroes dog are the big. Knows the person who's sneaking. It's a very talented poodle, Carl. Very Whoa. talented. Whoa! Uh, rough, rough. Gun. Rough. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Rough, rough. Don't Again, do it. This is a sniper rifle. Is shouldn't be used in close range. I'm going to turn around now. <gasps> I recognize you. Now I'm dead. Ooh, great, Ow. great. Ow. A squib went off on my chest. <laughs> Maybe it's Gardner. Yeah, right. Well, who do we know? We know these people, The Michael. Wait, you didn't hear the gunshots? That's, that's what I'm a, saying. She's grandma. She has yeah, a that's, body double. that's a classic shot. Look at that. The dog is so well trained. Okay, that's now the, the TV is shot. on. TV is on. TV is on. Dog so is cute. Dog knows to hide? Yep. TV is on. He's going to shoot the TV. TV's off. And there's a wig on a mannequin. 
Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Oh, got to go back to the marina. Just call me King Ad Rock Yacht. Right, Adam Yacht? Sorry. Adam y- Yacht. What was his real last name? Yacht. Oh, man, I'm so, look at that panther. He's got to cool down. I've been running now like he's a panther. The pan- he's the panting. The panther. Yeah, he's the panther. First, he was the panther. Oh, I wonder if they're home in the yacht. Let me check the uh, the yacht holes. Yeah, let me go under and look in the portholes. I'll see you. Ahoy. Ahoy. A boy. A boy. I mean, ahoy. Okay, now this is where it gets a little weird. By the way, that telephone, all these rich people, they use that payphone here in the pier. Well, nope. it is 84, 1984, right? I haven't heard back from my parents. What's going on? What you do? What you do? I did what you said. Or I'm sorry. Let me act as uh, Jay Richards. I did what you said. (laughs) Great impression. You do impressions? Thank you. Yes, here's my impression of Jay Richards and they're playing with fire. I'm trying to do this joke, but I just don't have the impression down yet. The joke is like, as Christopher Walken, you say, whenever you see a comedian do Christopher Walken, he's not doing Christopher Christopher Walking. He's doing an impression of another comedian that he saw doing Christopher Walken. Be a little original. If you're going to do impressions, make up your own. There's only one Christopher Walken impression, and that was the one Jay Moore did in front of Christopher Walken on the set of Suicide Kings, which he hated. <laughs> Christopher Walken hated? Yeah. Can you imagine? You got Jay Moore doing an impression of you on set. <laughs> All right. I don't understand. We're going to go to the mansion. And you're coming? Oh, come on. God, this guy, like, you'll see uh, Eric Brown light up. He's yeah. going to light up when he talks to his male roommate on, when they're lying in bed together. But he just, uh-huh. like, he's prickly. Like, she puts her hand under his arm, and you can just feel his back, like, repel. Yeah, you know? right. I was going to say, here's the friends. It's not the friends. I remember the friends are going to show up or something. Yeah, they, the friends show up. Oh, here's the deal. Like, Ocean... Maybe that's you, Ocean View College not only has these two guys as, as professors, but they have those high school chairs. It looks like a high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not a very good college, Carl. And in fact, mm-hmm. they're going to cheat on a test. They're going to all party. They're going to meet up. One guy's going to get the answers to the test, and then they're going to write it down. And there'll be conflict when that guy doesn't show up. And they, they say, well, let's go to the Stevens Estate. I think he's there. Now, the thing is, the Stevens estate has, wait, they go there because their friend is there, not because they the hang Snoopy, out. The Snoopy girlfriend uh, had the test results, had, so, but she didn't show up, so they knew that she was here. I don't. Okay, okay. Hey, oh, my God. Look at this chemistry. Now, husband doesn't know they slept together, right? That's right, which is strange because you would figure in a noir he's he's in on the scheme. He's in on the deal, yeah. He's in on the plot. So that's how I t- felt this movie going. All right. They're going to do some key. Now, there's no spotties and there's no smell and there's no TV. That's the first thing they notice. They're like, Jay, did you take the TV set? So I wanted we, you to- the exploded TV set was removed? Yeah, and shoddily cleaned up. Mm-hmm. He's Michael's walking on broken TV glass right now. It's in, it's going to be embedded in his big ass sneakers. <laughs> That's right. He's wearing sneakers right now in a suit. All these people, I feel like, have size thirteen suit feet. Like I could relate. What is that? Oh, it is broken TV glass. Ah, it could be anything. So, Michael, did you break the TV when you stole it from my parents? <laughs> I should say, parent. His parent. father passed away. He has a sister who I think passed away as well. And that's it. No hidden no other siblings children. that will reveal themselves at the end of the film. It's just no the younger alone. siblings. Like, how old do you think Annie Prine is in this? In this, 30, his character, early yeah, let's say, thirty. Let's say he's early thirties. So, would you? He would probably. You mentioned this last time. If there was a bastard child that was born like ten years younger, who's yeah. in his twenties now, yeah. he would remember. Right? Sure. You mentioned sure. that. I, I was like, absolutely. Oh, look, he's acting now. Whoa. Every oh 
I'm telling you, like Andy Prime can act, Civil Standing can act, and this guy is just yeah. out of the. He's out of just different league. I mean, he's playing it earnestly, but they all have like presence, right? He looks like me on stage. Look at his arms; it's just awkward. You know, you're on stage. You're like act, pretend you're the character. <laughs> How would the character stand? Oh. So. Okay, now he's the professor also at the college, like you Yeah. Think. Now, look at this college. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I had chairs like that in college, in the classroom. Um, uh, I... Yeah. I, I guess um, it's appropriate. It doesn't mean it's high school. It's a school. It's a school. Now, suddenly, the next day, he has a class that pinpoints Jay. And Jay gets pissed off. He's saying, there's paranoid, delusional people who uh -huh. lie to you. Uh -huh. Oh, you got to go take a whiz? So here he is. Look at it. He can't, he can't even close the door, slam the door. Look at his friends. Like, was he supposed to slam the door? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Check the script. Doesn't it say slam? It said slam. It says Jay gets angry. What's going on? <laughs> Let's Again. talk. We got to talk. We got to talk. Not now. Close the door. <laughs> I told you never to... So I really think like, so let's just say the couple isn't, doesn't have a scheme. They okay. just want to scare the grandma and the ma and get the money. Okay. Now but why is scaring them going to get the money? Killing them will get the money. No, you scare them and they go, I can't live here in Marina del Rey. There's like burglars in broad daylight in the middle of the afternoon coming into uh -huh. my cellar. Okay. We should go to a retirement home like Michael says too. Very then, weak plot. Okay, so he's overhearing. Look at this guy. Uh, I guess I'll put my arms down. Oh, my God. Look as stiff as a board. And he's not light as a feather. No, he's not. Okay, here comes girlfriend. Weird girl. girlfriend. Uh, potential. Potential, right, girlfriend? And do you see what she's holding in her hand? It's a manila envelope. Oh. A manila envelope. Really? Because... That is a, I mean, they're in Marina del Rey. I mean, Manila is so, uh, different, different, it's a different yeah. continent. It's Yeah, sure they got water. So she's an English teacher and she's got weird posters. Okay, he comes out of here. This hallway, I'm so sick of this hallway. I mean, I never see this hallway again. Yeah. I've seen, I've hung out outside her college door, uh, office door more times than I did with my professors. <laughs> what are you doing? Spying on me? Yeah. What? They broke. Listen, I broke up. You said you wanted to move in with me, and that's just way too soon. Oh, and now does Sybil kill her? No. Oh, they had a conversation, and then suddenly it continues, but they're on the middle outside in the platform. So they were like, "I can't believe you did this in the hallway." And then they What's cut to here. Folder? All right, look, very professionally done photographs. Remember that scene? This is why I yes. went to the movie. He's got an afro. <laughs> he does have an afro. But we don't see the sex. There's no incriminating. No, but we just have like really well shot close-ups. How did she get that? I would like to know the story of the private eye who took that photo. The private eye never yeah. shows up. If I did this movie, I would have a CD private eye. Just why not? Why not show a guy taking a photograph while they're having sex to add a layer to it? Right, like I that's don't opening scene. The she kicks the car. The conflict is that she wants him to date again, and he doesn't want to because they're going too fast. So she's saying, "Listen, oh, that's the scene." She goes, "You're playing with fire." Uh huh. That, but, but I mean, he goes, she goes, "I know about you and the professor." Right. Which, well, who? What does he care if she knows? Well, so I don't know. Like, is she going to reveal it and ruin his career? Ah. Kind of come home and wipe off the blood. So why does he have to wipe off the blood? Well, here's he doesn't the want to call the cops. No, they haven't called the cops. Where's the and, bodies? Well, that's the thing. Like the bodies are gone. And there's some broken glass and there's that blood there. Okay. And then that things are normal. Oh, here comes that douche. Oh no, here comes a noisy neighbor. Now, the gardener is on state. You can see his cool truck, and he's going to cock block, okay. as it were. He's going to creep block, I should say. Her when she comes in. Let me get my... Okay, so she intends to inform. She's investigating. 
No, but she's got the manila envelope. Is she going right. to give it to him? Yeah, she wants to talk to Michael. Your wife is having an affair with my boyfriend. Look. Oh, creepy. That touch one. Hey, creepy smile. Creepy smile. Creepy. Well, he's not here. Creepy. Touch her again. Yes. There you go. I Second touch. No Bad touch done. too. Oh, professor. Oh, professor, you are here at home. Your car being here did mean you were home. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Now she's completely creeped out by George. Like, what? Why did you come here? Do you have incriminating photos of my wife you want to show me? You know what? <laughs> I do, but I don't want to be here right now because uh, because creep is here. Because creep is here. But why wouldn't she just leave the envelope with him? But okay, yeah, that's what I don't get. I don't get. But he's a bad vibe. All right, now he is gonna say goodbye to bad rubbish. So George's like, uh, uh. So where are the ladies? <laughs> yeah, they, they went to Hawaii. Well, they would normally tell me. Yeah, how about that. Well. You said, look, look at this. He picked no, up Rose in front of the gardener. Right in front of me. In front of the gardener. Oh, and for what? For some 80s lapel? And he throws oh, away the stem. Let me tell you, Mike, I never spoke with you about this because I don't want to seem very left because I'm kind of left. But I am a member of People for the Ethical Treatment of Plants. <laughs> and that, is, uh, it's offensive. Oh, man, I, I am pro stem, stem research. Yeah, smart, smart. Yeah. I'm pro STEM STEM research too, but that is for a good cause. That I could see you plucking a yeah. rose. But as a member of PETPA, people <laughs> for the ethical treatment of plants, I think that was you know. A, I mean, this is 1984. We're more woke right. today, but yeah, still today, right. you see these cruel people with their mowers, chopping hey. off limbs with the hedge clippers. I went to doesTheRoseDie.com, and this is the yeah. only entry. Oh, this breaks my heart. It really does. Did you he know said, that a baby carrot in the womb feels pain? Baby carrot. Pet pump, join us. I was supposed to get some baby carrots tonight, didn't so I just chopped up a carrot. I'm mad. I have to talk on this ridiculous phone. This blood-soaked phone. I got to put my fingerprints on a, a blood-soaked phone. Now, this is where you realize maybe they don't have their shit together. Maybe they didn't have this nourish plan after all. Okay. He's like, you're sleeping with him, aren't you? Look, oh. she, she's a PhD. Look how she acts. I absolutely love it. Right? She puts the phone down, and then she gets her notes, and she makes a check. It's just <laughs> like everybody in this film. This guy you had mentioned is your favorite. It's kind of a Dana Carvey, uh, Tim Conway type of character. Oh, right. But but wait, then he get he rides him. He's like you're you gotta you're working your car and uh, on your time on our own time. Go clean the toilets. I love him. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, Jose, he's not coming in today, so you're gonna work a shift. Fuck you. The hell you say? Fuck <laughs> you. You're you're working a shift. He's got a pen pocket protector. Oh yeah, as one does. You never know when you're working as a mechanic when you need a pencil. They better, did you see the stacked up cans? Oh my God. <laughs> better stay away from those cans. People better hate just, cans. People hate cans. Do you remember when Jerry Lewis was working in a car mechanic? Oh, and he yeah. knocked over all those cans. He yeah. was hardly working. Now this car is great. She's great. Yeah, go ahead. I need to check my oil. He's like, well, this dipstick can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I did like that guy. This guy is more passionate with cars. He knows how to handle cars. And <laughs> right? I mean, we've seen him have sex. And look at him. He knows how to do the car. He got oil in it. You don't need it. I just wanted to talk. Do you want a chiclet? I got some chiclets <laughs> in my purse. Let's see. Where is it? Slam. Right. Come look with at me. The wind blowing your hair. That's so distracting. In Southern California, exterior shots are fine. It's when they're in Florida that pisses me off. But yeah, it is distracting. Look at her, going her hair going crazy. Oh, he doesn't like it. Well, here's the weird thing. It's like, I think he quits right now, but he at the last scene, he's working there again. And then she shows oh. up and they leave. And then he quits. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
because he's going to be, she's saying, hey, I'm at this place. Why don't you meet me? I'm at the yacht. Here's the keys to the yacht. There's keys to the yacht. There's keys to the yacht. When you're uh, done with your double shift, why don't you come by? And suddenly, that bulge in his pants is like, fuck, (laughs) just go now. He hates those cans. (laughs) Mobile. Mobile. Oh, by the way, it says $6 a gallon. Hey! Hey, I'm going to run out. Shake your fist. Yep, almost. Come back here, boy. Or you're fired. We're fired. Get the only... damn it. God damn. Meanwhile, back at the pier. Look at that panther run. Whoa, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So he puts so the coming. keys in the ignition and starts up the yacht. Yeah, here's the keys. Uh, this one's for the trunk. This one's for the ignition. So what is this? A rendezvous hiding? No, this is the most baffling part of this movie. He is going, he's searching for clues on the yacht. He's yacht clue searching. You ever go into a yacht? Of the disappearing women or? He's looking looking for clues. I don't know. So funnily, he finds Michael's sneakers and, oh, there's broken glass in the soul. Puts that down. What else? That's why you, okay. Yeah. Now he's Nancy Drewing it in a yacht. He's going to find incriminating evidence. Well, I went into the closet and I found the incriminating evidence that's in the right yacht. next to the shoe. <laughs> next to the shoe. You got to be careful with your yacht. There's so much incriminating evidence. So this says if the mothers get scared, he gets the inheritance. What? No, this? it says something about a Swiss psychological hospital. Oh, that might this know is of so thing. But I, Carl. Listen, okay. Michael Michael Prime doesn't know that he thinks he's the only son. He doesn't realize yeah. that the mom had an illegitimate child ten years prior prior, you know, twenty years into after he was born. The key doesn't work. I think he might be thirty five. Let's say he's mid thirties, right? Okay. Michael yeah. Prime. And his bastard son, his brother that he doesn't know yeah, about. The bastard brother. The bastard brother is twenty. And as it's you mentioned a, the movie, a different mother. Same mom, different dad. Different dad, different dad. So he's a brother from another father. Right. <laughs> That's right. What are you doing here so soon? I thought you were working. Uh, boobies. Oh, right. I see why you came in. But she's not really uh, she she's concerned. Like oh, man. I'm telling you, William Hurt and Kathleen Turner, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody he. As, um, Michael, uh, I oh see, look, it says something about a psychologist. Like I don't get it. If Michael had this paperwork, he would probably say, "What's up with this Switzerland psycho ward or something like that?" And why would you have even? First off, if you live on a boat, God bless you, but it seems like a cockroach haven. You know what I mean? Like okay, it doesn't so seem fun. This is their house, and they're trying to get the mansion. Right, but the, since the parents, since the, the the women disappeared from the mansion, I think they've been living in the mansion. Okay, okay. So There's, they have John another house. And Mike Douglas, they're not. No, absolutely. <laughs> Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas, they are not. They're not even they're, Fred and Wilma Flintstone, you know. What, what was Michael no Douglas? Thing. His brother is an actor too. It's like Michael Douglas's brother. Uh-huh. And and I don't know someone who looks like Sharon Stone. What's this what fucking gun? Oh, come on, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yacht life. Stop Yacht life. Naked. Yeah, she's just casually undressing. Well, she's not casually. She wants to get some, but uh, he's not. I don't know. It's just baffling. Like Andrew Prine, you could see him respond to her uh-huh. you know react yeah, yeah. whoa man yeah just looking seductive she's got a little pot belly there God only because the way she's sitting it, it yeah. you know gravity's making that i happen. know i I seen her in a bikini belly. girl <laughs> you know she um one thing that rob zombie the, as a director does is he likes to put in genre actors especially when they're like older so yeah. she was in halloween 2007 okay. and 
I think Rob's she was in Grindhouse. Rob Zombie uh shot a fake video, like SS Elsa the SS, and she shows up in that fake trailer. And that fake trailer is available on YouTube, but you can't get it on DVD because it's the original Grindhouse version of the movie where it's two movies with the trailers in the middle. Okay. So uh but also Andrew Pine was in uh Lords of Dogtown, another Rob oh, Zombie movie. Oh, Lords of Dogtown was the surfboard movie. Well, I think it's Satan. Maybe it's like it's Lords of Satan of Salem, oh, oh, Salem, yeah, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're witches that have a rock band. I don't know. And in the witches okay. burn. Check out, check out the seduction scene. Uh look how he stands. He looks like me on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Okay, now this is the most unromantic sex I've ever seen. He's nibbling his her shoulder. Does he take her pants off? Does he actually whip it out? I uh, whip it out well, it's and I go like dangerous I mean, metal zipper of his fly. He's so are whisking. they are they dry humping? She's such a great yeah, actress. I guess She's, it's dry humping. All right, well, look at this. his uh, shoulders are so stiff. She's trying to get massage it's him. Terrible! It's terrible. It's unfun. This is the reason why I wanted to watch this yeah, movie again. I just don't get it. Yeah. She really, she's there. She's ready for this movie, and he's not. Unfortunately, like I'm sure he's a fine guy. It's just unfortunate that you know the chemistry wasn't there, and it's yeah, and it just distracts. This film would be better served. If, oh, welcome home. You look so relaxed. Oh. <laughs> By the way, uh, oh, that's right. This, this is the mustard this must be anchovies the... pizza. Oh, this is so bad. So here's his buddy, right? Here's Bird. Yeah. All right. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I just got laid. I'm gonna drink your beer. They do absolutely nothing in this campus pub. This campus uh -huh. pub, they don't act like he's like, yeah, you know it. Got laid, got paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duh. I, he's the only time this actor is animated is when he's chit chatting with Bird, especially when they're in their bed. You oh, and they improvise that scene. Yeah, you want the can too? All right. All right. <laughs> he dripped the little drip of beer in there. Now, is this their terrestrial home? This is their terrestrial home. Yeah, we usually see the the shot of the mansion. We didn't see that this time. No, it's a different place. So I think this is where their their house home is. Their land their land house. Okay, so they don't live on the boat, or maybe they go between the two. Okay, I was trying to piece this together. Like it's named Lillian, so it's the family yacht, and he has access to it. Who's the fuck is that? Yeah, that is somebody. I, I there will be a gun in this scene, as I recall. I think. Well, so this is kind of unraveling. I wish I put the closed captioning so I can remember. But he, yeah, Michael, you're Wait drunk. A sec. Michael, you're drunk. I know. I don't tell me I'm drunk. That drunk. reveal. The footsteps reveal. Uh, but they're okay. actors. Got some blood on your tennis shoes and some glass. What the hell was he doing in the sleeping cabin? I don't know. I was on the yacht. How do you get outside? She yeah. is lying. Totally lying. Michael, you're drunk. Oh, no, hell yeah. He doesn't do it with her, right? Not now. Oh, it's, yeah. it's at the gate pulls ah, out the gun. It was in the I pocket. Remember. As we watch this film, it's all coming back to me. You know, it's so funny. I did watch this movie twice yesterday, and I watched her episode as well. And I really love this film. And so I've seen this film. This is my fifth time. Fifth time, Michael. You are playing with fire. Whoa! <laughs> playing with fire. Yeah, look. And he's his Whoa. body language is he's drunk, right? He's pulling a yeah. Matt Damon with his body. Oh, she's got to take another fucking shower? Yeah. The audience says yes. <laughs> Clean that huge baby. The director and the uh, writer had, had, you mentioned this before, there's a 1974 film called The Teacher, and I just watched the trailer yeah. for it. She's 28, he's not The Teacher. <laughs> okay, look at this. They're partying. They're partying. Hey, uh, actors, I want you to pretend you're hanging out at a bar. Oh, I gotta stop lighting matches. Here comes the professor. Oh, shit. Professor? I'll hide. This isn't I'll your hide scene. behind my hand. Now this is such a strange. The professor he comes to the cafe, the pub to approach him, and then he never leaves the pub. 
He's okay. like, I know you're on. I know you. I am on to you. Oh no, I want to talk like to you. The wife. Yeah. So he's gonna be like, I know. Well, he thinks. I don't know. Like at first, okay. I'm like he's pretending because he's a murderer, and then I think he really doesn't know what's going on. No, I recall that the husband does not know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Finally, the cops show up. Uh-oh. Did you call about the murder from two weeks ago? <laughs> you know, their pub is named Campus Pub. It's so generic. It's not. It should say Campus View Pub. Oh, my God. I love this Campus Pub. Not only can you light matches in there and look in uh, in outer space until the director tells you the scene's starting, uh, it has the greatest Campus Pub band I've ever heard. <laughs> there, if I, oh, and I looked at your notes right. and the first thing... You had the, the boom mic. <laughs> right, right. That's coming up. <laughs> yeah, that's in your notes. You're like, she's using a boom mic. <laughs> All right, so I don't know whose house this is. I guess this is it's their... the it's the man it's Mansion? the old lady's oh, house. Oh, it's the old cellar. But what's he doing? Yeah. He went through the window for sentimental reasons. He's, he's got picking his, up helmet. his helmet. That's yeah, he's got a backpack. He was there. Wow, it's it's gonna hurt his back if he puts that helmet on his back. All right, here we go. This stupid thing again. Oh, I better wipe that. Oh yeah, he confronts him at the bar, saying, "You know, your fingerprints are everywhere." So oh. he leaves the bar and he goes and wipes down his fingerprints and the professor stays at the bar. And not only that, you know who shows up at the bar? George, the gardener. That's weird. Yeah, what's he doing? And why, why would he stay this one in there to get the gun? He's a creep. He should not be on campus. No creeps on campus. <laughs> I don't think that's a rule, Mike. Not at Montclair State. I know. Yeah, I was going to bring up Montclair State, your alma mater. I don't like your nickname for it. So yeah, there it. plenty of creeps. Oh, but yeah. I don't like you your don't nickname want, for it. You don't want me to run down my school, right? Now my kid is going there for his master's degree. I was like, are you sure? Are oh, you sure? Is it legacy? They're like, oh, your dad's Carl. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, your grandfather was a professor here? Come on in. That's right. Your father was a professor there. Okay, so there's the gun rack. That's still there. The TV's gone, but all the uh, guns and ammo. And the way he handled the gun with his finger, I think he's been around fire uh, weapons finger before. Twins. Did you see that? Yeah. You just touched the wall, you dummy. You just, you're just you clearing, cleaning up your fingerprints, leaving fresh ones for the cops. I guess the maid got fired because she hasn't showed up at all. She could have cleaned the fingerprints. That's a good point. All right. Look at this acting. Just walk up the fucking stairs already. He's tepid. Stop, Stop it. He's you drive me crazy. Oh, no shit. Uh-oh. Is he the killer? He is the killer. Ow! Now, with the mask, you gotta go, is that Sybil? Is that Andy Pine? I thought it was Sybil for a while. Like, she, she dressed up as a dude, I guess. Again, here we go. The good old shooter you rifle in the cellar scene. The second time we've seen the rifle shot in there. It's uh, like Panther a run. war. Panther, look at him. He runs like Luigi. Hop the fence. Yeah, that stupid fence. And He's away I go. Okay, I guess. Look he, how stylish she is all the time. All the time. Now, I have to say, the professor shows up to the bar in a different scene because it's the next day. I, I got mixed up. Mm. Again, they're talking about the plot, but suddenly you realize that the couple is not all together. Like she doesn't know who the killer is. He doesn't know who the killer is. They both think it's each other, and uh, they also think he's going to run to the cops, uh, Jay. So, okay, <laughs> you know this so film. They got to get rid of him. Yeah, the director makes some choices. I mean, this film is about him, but we see scenes without him. Like we go to other characters, so we have an overview world as a as an audience. Like we get to see other characters talk, All and that's right. kind of how the killers get revealed. Look at this creep on hey, campus. Uh, can you show me where the undergraduates study? Where is the ocean? There is no view. No ocean view. Also, is there really an ocean view college, or they built that? 
that sign? Uh, I didn't research. No, I, I didn't did research actually I, way in history, but I don't know the answer. Now they we like were... each other. Oh, oh my God. Well, he says, you want to come over to my place and fuck? And she's like, <laughs> for real? Really? Oh, here they are. Here's cool. the gang. Now, here's this whole subplot about, like, don't worry. She's going to get the notes and we'll all study it. We'll all study the answers. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, it's not cheating. It's studying. Well, they're, they're totally cheating. Their study group is basically getting the mimeograph uh, sheet from the garbage can, <laughs> like an animal house. It's a study group in which they study the answers to the test. Oh, the Jewish house told us we got the wrong answer. The guys at the Jewish, <laughs> what was the line in the stat was? I don't remember. I did see Animal House, of course, uh, more than Do you once. remember they, they, they uh, do, uh, the, their adversaries change Omega House, go into the trash and put in a fake mimeograph of the wrong answers? Right, 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 right. All right, so here she is playing with fire. Ultimately, she said he was playing with fire, but she is playing with fire. Why are you going back okay, so to the mansion? In the envelope again. Right, and there's there's Michael Moore, there's Jason Moore, uh, Voorhees looking out this window. Why would he have the mask on now? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Maybe he, he's crazy. <gasps> Maybe because he's crazy. Ding dong. Hello, Professor. I wanted to follow up with uh, a conversation from before. Avon. When the creep was in the way. Right. There's no creep. So she's a little bit forward. Whoa. Why is she doing this? Uh, I thought those were bullet holes at first. What are those weird bumps? Yeah. That's an awkward style for a door. That's not a yeah. pattern that you would see. Obviously, there's no grandchildren because they would be like crayon drawings, like connected dots. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just decorative. Those things can't have a function. No, it's decorative. It's a weird looking house. I mean, it's just the wealth is just out there. And also, I don't, it seems so big, but we just see like the cellar and the staircase. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's weird. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you yeah, go? Room and we're in the basement. Okay, time to go. So this movie now is gone from film noir to slasher film. Slasher? Okay. But the thing is, why was she like looking? Why is she going slow? Why she, Why wouldn't she go in and go, Professor! Professor, you know? What's her plot of a plan here? She's Now, we saw the killer. Do you think the killer is going to be wearing the ski mask? Do you yeah. Remember this? Do you remember how the, what the, how the killer is dressed? Yeah. All right, she comes in. Here's a Christmas tree. Why? So it must be December. I guess, yes. Was it Christmas? Wait, you said Christmas. we never see upstairs, and now we're doing it. So we do see the rest of the house. We, we do see upstairs. Yeah, we get to see the carousel horse, as popular in the 80s. So who decorated the tree if they haven't been there for two weeks? Good question. Uh-oh. Like, uh-oh. Well, They'll go into the flower good. room. Yeah, we're totally <laughs> seeing the whole house here. Even the tacky wallpaper room. Oh, what is that a doorknob? How does this work? Don't open the door. What are you doing? I don't understand what she's up to. She's looking for the professor. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Santa! Crazy. She just got hit with the foamiest foam baseball bat ever. These these killings are so poorly done. I mean, look oh, at that blood. Oh, oh. Got jello all over you. Okay, there's a terrible band with a noose. Oh, we I got to put on the volume for this. Best band banter. All right. All right. With hey, welcome to Batscape PM. I would take a short break now. Uh, so if you don't like our music. No, kids, you don't like our music. She's a really mean lady. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't like our music, you can uh, go, go hang yourself. All Love right. it. I forgot that. That there's a noose on the table, like weird banter. Okay, you can see the professor in this shot. I finally get a line. Is oh no, she doesn't get a line. She just goes to the phone. They're ter- Oh yeah. 
the band is good. These uh, people don't act this way, guys. They have a picture of chocolate milk, though. That's good. That looks like swamp water. There's Santa Monica. Uh, Santa Civic. Monica, September 12th. That will be canceled after in 2001. Now, they're really pissed. Their nosy friends should be uh, all set. The with one the with, all the, with the answers. Okay. Yeah. She, where is she? Where is she? Well, I know, I know she, she went to the there. Stevens estate. Well, we should go to the Stevens estate. Let's go. Let's we, go. We need, we the, need the answers. answers. All right. This guy. They all try. They don't talk in real real life talk. Oh, look at that. Like Belushi, arches his eyebrows. <laughs> all right. Now... Hey, all drunk hiccup. Oh, I'm uh, drunk hiccup. Oh, I've been drinking so much beer. It's in my hand. In a Volkswagen Rabbit. I got to take a leak. In the Volkswagen Jetta. Jetta. Yeah, he's going to piss on the statue, as I recall. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I remember this movie. They're boozing. And, and, and I remember it's drink. pointless. Like, they must have, Yeah. They went to the bar. They took the drinks out of the bar, which is a no-no. Yeah. Or they stopped off at a packaged goods store. The driver was even had a beer in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, we see her car. I don't. I think they're at ordering the pizza or something. I don't know. I don't have the closed captioning. I can't really. Huh? Yeah. Hey. It's. Oh, he bet, he bet he's got a pee. Oh, he he should let everyone know and walk over. I don't know what he's, he's like doing routines. Hey, you, know, you ever is... hear Canadian hockey players uh, announcers on the radio? They're like this, <laughs> doing his shtick. All right, they go back in the car. You mentioned this too. Like, why do we see her topless? And I think it's because. I mean, the statue. So right now he's live streaming and it's 84. That's really quite. He was ahead of his time. Oh, look at this acting. Oh, Oh, the relief. The The relief. relief. This gardener gets no respect in this movie. (laughs) Pee on my roses. Yeah. Hide behind the statue. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Uh, She didn't have a bra. Why is she? I guess my mind goes to the same place. Yeah, especially like Sybil Danning is a star. Like, you know, it's, we're fine with Sybil. He doesn't see a guy hiding behind a statue and nothing happens. Flail your feet while you we drive yeah, away. We gotta Roll make on. this wacky. It has Roll to be. On. Is he gonna yeah. sniff the pee? Okay. Okay, now this is their home. The home. professor's home home. The land home. home. Yeah, you can't just say, hey, let's take our house for a spin. You can't. I don't, a house <laughs> for house. a sale. You know, even though they are they don't have the money, they sure do have a rich lifestyle because of the parents. The right, mom. yeah, 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 absolutely. And they love plants. But no, they want it all. Look at this guy. Like, even Michael J. Fox is a better actor. Is that hat, like... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I get it. He plays it earnest. It's a campy movie. It it should click. But he doesn't even wear a hat well. Oh, no, it's her. That's why. Yes, it's been her the whole time. You could tell by her I thought it was him. I thought it was him. I think I, I think I just get fed up. All right. So this is where he lives, this campus yep. house. And one thing is that there's no room, so they all have three beds yeah, in but this meanwhile, child Look house. how large this house is. Yeah, I can't. What was the Homer line? I can't hear you. I'm wearing a towel. <laughs> <laughs> you have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. You know, I can't hear anything without my glasses. <laughs> this romantic uh, liaison that he uh, begrudgingly uh, offered. Yeah, I remember. She comes over. There's something weird about the awkward staircase in which it's all concrete or something. Look at this guy. He just pulls out a golf club. I mean, what are you doing? I best I love playing golf with my balls dangling down like that. It's such a great <laughs> All right. Now is well, there a romantic ball in golf? Uh I forgot his name. What's his name? He's a bird. 
No, uh, the oh wait, the other... there was something about bird. Well, That's this right. is, this there is was the something only... about bird. There's something about well, Jay. There's a reveal. He's finally Jay's finally going to show off sexual tension, right? Like there's like there's a spark between these two. Like that's how I was able to watch this movie, right? Okay. He's in bed taking his pills, taking his pills, his psycho pills, and he's there in a towel, just you know, hanging low and lazy. His body showing off. He's gonna sit on the bed in a towel, but there's no like. He's he's gonna say like I got a date. He taunts him with it, and he wants him to go out and you know, call me when it's done. He's more interesting when he talks to this guy than he is with Sybil. Uh huh. Yeah. No, he didn't like Sybil, and it's clear. It's clear, which makes this movie just bizarre. I, I think that's the reason why I keep watching it. It's just so strange. He's more. He's more animated. Is he, oh, here's my band. Yeah, we're rocking. Look, these guys are, they really are rocking. Do you remember doing. Shaking her head. Have you ever performed in a pub where you had like the drummer take up the entire stage? Uh, no. No, I guess that the spiral. See, see, look, there's George and uh, the professor. Yeah, brothers, and they don't know it. Oops, oops. Oops. No, no, no. The gardener is not his brother, but the gardener okay. knows that he has a bastard son, and he oh, actually bastard brother. Campus, campus pub. Okay, here's my favorite bit. It's your wife, Mike Hunt. <laughs> oh, Michael Hunt here, Mike Hunt. He's very popular. Anyone here like Mike Hunt? <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he says he's not he's here. Not here. <laughs> David Bowie. Yeah, David Bowie. Yeah. Why was she dressed up to go into the house? Why? Mm. Well, she's out of the house. She's going to the campus bar to get her husband. The gym sign is down. It must be later. Remember the gym sign? Yeah, right. It's a see? gym right there. Yeah, he runs by it. You see the Shakespeare. All right. Now, weird that he would hang out with the gardener. Right. Very weird. And she, she realizes this, too. This is when you realize that this is out of their control. The killer is not them. Okay, so there's money. They're right. exchanging money. Listen, I lost my ID. Can you go over to the packy and get me a six-pack? <laughs> Whatever adults drink. What is he being paid for? All right. Well, that's what she's going to confront him with. It's like, what's up with this? And he says... He knows too much, and I'm paying him off. He's nosy. Okay. And okay. I don't want him involved, so I'm, I paid him off. Yo, she's, yo, husband. Right. Confronts him. Who's that man you were with? Not who. He, she knows who. So she says, are you guys scheming together? Why did you give him money? What is that? And he's like, I, he's nosy, and, you know, I don't believe you. They're... Such a world of difference. I guess I just take it for granted when I watch a film that people are acting. Okay. Because it's body language. Like, you see how... That's a different yeah. film. Well, I mean, like, our hero, Jay, he just stands there awkwardly. Oh, and yeah, what, it's really bad. He's terrible. You compare it to, like, Andy Pine, Pine right here. Like, he's just in the scene. Like, he is in the moment. But they're saying ridiculous stuff now. Like, yeah. turn it up, turn it up. Okay, give me a second. Thank you. You got rid of the old lady, so now you got to get rid of the kid because he's the only witness. Where are next? You got it all planned. Here we go. It's absurd. Don't try to con me, Diane. I know you. You want that money. Not enough to commit murder. Then it has to be the kid. He has no motive. He has no motive. All right. All right. Yeah, I remember doing the research, watching this film, and in this scene... All the things he says don't make sense to really what the plot, like he wouldn't suspect these things. I don't know. I think this film was poorly written. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's it's different genre mashup. I mean, it's just, it just needed to s state what it was. Like if it was a noir film, it should go that direction. If this is because a psycho brother is trying to off his family to get this inheritance uh, with the help of the gardener, then it should be that film. I don't know. Now I think we get the sex scene in his apartment. Or it's coming. It's coming. She's well, going to show up. 
and totally get naked. Yeah. And again, like he's pretending, oh, sex scene's so bad. Look at him. Gotta get laid. Going for it, dude. Yeah. As he we say. Like Look at him. He's taunting him. He's taunting his boyfriend. I'm going to get laid. You got to get out of here. It's the Make only yourself. time is interesting. Make yourself scarce. Listen, I'm going to tie a tie on the doorknob. And if you don't like it, uh, go hang yourself. Wow. He's a true redhead. Yeah. He's, uh, he comes back, you know. Bruce Springsteen. Just not. Look at these, looking at him disappointingly. I don't know. Uh, why don't you go get a real collar? <laughs> you don't <laughs> pop that collar. You don't even have a collar. There's nothing to pop. Actually, that's a '90s thing, right? Collar pop. No, in the '80s, did it? You roll up your your sleeves of your jacket and you pop the collar. Uh -huh. You roll up the sleeves of your jacket. I guess I that Duran Duran did a collar pop, so I guess it was '80s. Too. It was '80s. Like think of uh, uh Izod shirts with uh, two. Yeah. You wear two of them and you pop the collar. Right. The collars. You have I can't your wait to get sweater, laid. Sweater tied around your neck. Look at this. Uh, I will have sex right here. So I should take the stuff off. I'm cleaning up. I'm cleaning up. I'm throwing the laundry under the desk. Is he wearing shoes? Yeah, here <laughs> it is. Now the locations rock, right? Like we've seen the yacht, Manton, this weird building. Oh, good old twenty fifth Street. Yeah. There's a sign that says, as seen in the movie. Look at him, he's lying around. Just waiting. Waiting for the sex. He's got hubcaps on the wall. Now, I always thought, like, look at this. Give a nice hug. Oh, the trip was so hard. The bus went, oh, good to see you. Did you bring anything from the whole trip? No. Look, he, this is, he's got his arm around her. It's weird. Yeah, it doesn't look natural. Yeah. Because you only put your arm around someone if they're shorter than you. When they're taller than you, it's awkward. But if you're dragging someone, dragging, excuse me, if you guys are approaching the bed, maybe like, I don't know, it's just... The waist. waist the hips. All right, they're going to do it. Oh, they're hugging. I'm so glad this tragedy is over. Yeah, he goes, he doesn't kiss her lips. He just goes to the neck. Uh, now I must take clothes off. Boom! I am. Second, they're out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I recommend watching this, the DVD, the DVD extras. I was talking about it before. She's just so attuned. I, rem I recommend watching it as a neighbor. <laughs> yeah, sure. Close the window. <laughs> Where's right that? through those open windows. Listen, Bert, I don't want you to see having sex. So can you go outside across the street? Whoa, man. Wow, she what's happening? Look, they hug. They hug. Oh, listen. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, but yeah, that's it. She gives her a hug. Uh, not going to happen. Is it? No, not going to happen. Oh. Maybe it'll happen. I got it. He's not as sexy, and his clothes don't come off in one fell swoop like hers. I, he did when he was wearing uh, bicycle The cover shoes. of Candio by the car. The cover of Candio. <laughs> Five, she said. Whoa. He is so dumb not to have chemistry with this ten. Now, this is my favorite scene. Like, they're going to be Quatus Interruptus. And you can see him, like, quote, unquote, pull out. I think it's the husband shows up. Oh. He goes, oh, no, no, no. Knocking on the door. That's right. Right. And you mentioned in the last episode that he's like, I know you're in there. Well, duh. All right. Now, they're actually ha doing it. Right? Like, look at him. He's just, I guess he's, I don't know. Put some effort. Right now he's in missionary school. With the ocean view. Still no ocean view. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, there'll be a knock on the door and he has to get up. He's a little too low to actually be doing it. 
I know the same thing when they see wrapped their, her legs around him and there it's just right. doesn't it's really... around his like stomach yeah. rather than his pelvis. Okay, knock, 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 knock. Carl, do you ever remember this? Pull out, get to the door. <laughs> That's the best feeling in sex when you have to like stop and get out. Oh, that's a killer. That's a ruiner. But you know, have you ever experienced that? With insane. kids. With kids. With kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad, dad, dad. Dad. <laughs> hey, God. Roop. That's the last you'll have of it. Come back to bed. Uh, give me 45 minutes or so. I got to get back there. Where does she hide? Perfect. Look at your lumpy curtains. Right. You have a giant house with all these hidey holes. And... Damn it. I smell sex in here. What's going on? Oh, shit. Is that my wife I smell from your pants? Oh, yeah. Has my wife been here? No. Are you sure? Yes. May I smell your fingers? Well, no, Professor. <laughs> I, I would be rude not to offer. I insist. I guess she's not here. Fuck it. Her car's here. Her sneakers are behind the curtain. I'm out of here. <laughs> she left her shoes. Oh, now she's dressed. Weird. Yeah. And she's weird. Her hair needs a little more life, right? It needs a little headroom, right? It's fine. It's fine. Her hair's fine. Where the yeah. fuck is her car doing here? Right. He's turning back. You know what? That's why the, that explains the smell. But they took the other car, his beat up jalape. Jalape. Not a jalopy. No, no, it's a French model. Oh, so it's a jalape. <laughs> La Look at this idiot. Why are you trying to break in the door that opens the other way? Hey. Oh, the doorknob. God, what a fucking kung fu master. Back on the yacht, yacht life. Good old y Lillian. Yeah, they got everything in there. Do you need a captain if you're rich and you have a yacht? You need your cat. You, you can. Actually, that's a good point. There is like yacht maintenance and we never see a crew. I don't know. Hmm. Below deck, right? I've seen that show. I know how it works. Oh, a little more. Let's make, a, let's make out before this movie ends. A little this more a little romance. Bit. Look at him. He's like twiddling his thumb. Uh, up, down, up, down, up, <laughs> down. Oh, no. He's going to catch. He doesn't catch him. Every, everywhere they go, he's right behind. <laughs> They're like our kids. Stop knocking on the door. Aha! Finally. He if might have a gun on him. If it's not in the one place, it has to be the yacht. All right. Oh, boy. Guys, I've been here. Have you ever been here? You catch <laughs> you have to pull out a gun when you see all right. Well, huh. You realize that uh he was better in bed than this guy. Oh, that's what they say in this film. They're like, we haven't had sex in a year. Like she would complain to Michael. Yeah, yeah. That was in the beginning. And it was Brought up three or four that. times. Uh oh why can't you hear him? Why can't you see him? What kind of special effect do we have now? Bam! Oh, right in the blood packet. Oh, oh, right in the stomach blood packet. <laughs> right where I was keeping the squib. <laughs> that reminds me of hand shop, hand chopping network when you had the packet of blood. Yeah, that's right. We did a baggy. We, we did a public access show in the 90s, and one of the things we did was not the home shopping network. It was the home chopping network. <laughs> Why do you so, always explain? Because I had my hands holding a uh, uh, watch, and the call was like, I like that hand. The yeah, real right. Eagleman hand. hand. So I cut but, your hand off, and we had yeah. a blood package. And we had a blood package, and it worked better than this movie. It was Elmer Hayes from Kansas bought that pan. Look Again, at, no one look else. Look bony features. Of the fingers. <laughs> that's a real genuine speaking with hand. Yeah, that's right. All right, now we got to play that. Okay. If there's time at the end of the film, I'll edit it in. Perfect. And now, again, the running panther run. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, uh. Now he's panting run. Give him credit. He, he just had sex. 
Okay, so husband's dead. Killer's yes. running away. They're pursuing killer. They're not calling the cops. They're not throwing the body off the pier. Now they're back at the grandma mansion. Yeah. And we still don't know where grandma is. And 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 neither do um, Sybil or the husband. Well, obviously, if the decaying bodies are in the house, they would have smelled it. But or I'm saying like Sybil and... Um, What's Look his at name? this. Pulls out a machete from the gardener's truck. <laughs> the thing is, why don't they totally investigate what the fuck happened to our parents? They don't want the cops involved. They want they want the lawyers They're to give them the inheritance. Curiosity. You would only get an inheritance if you report a murder, right? And that way the bodies are dead. Yeah. All right, a little skinny dippy. He's waiting. He's waiting. waiting. He's waiting. Oh, guys, should stop running. Do you smell pee? <laughs> Do you smell Boomer's pee? That was The Simpsons. That's where Boomer had took a piss. I think. No, what was wow. it? Don't touch the gardener's tools, to both of you. Yeah, he has a machete in his tools. Where's the dog? Is the dog okay? Hey, yeah. Whatever happened to Poodle? Did the dog die? Let's go there. Go ahead, Mike. All right. All right. Oh, I actually, I should. All right. Yeah, you gotta do it. I've never been to the site. You always go. It's a great site because it does like there's sensitive issues that people don't want to experience in the theater for for a reason, whether it's a dog getting died or just something problematic. Does the dog die? All right, kidding. now here, so the killer is not the gardener after all. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot this. Yeah. The gardener not the, is not the What's he doing? Confronting him? He's confronting yeah. the actual son. He's saying, yeah, he's saying, listen, what are you doing? I had it all planned out. I told the old lady that she killed to take Michael off the will and put in Martin as you. I've been working on this. You fucked it up. And he's like, well, they're playing with machete. fire. Okay, here, watch this. Well, this is my this favorite. It, yeah, and I'm going to bloodily kill you. All right, look out for some gore. People, you may want to turn away from this scene. This is really gory. It, no, it's a movie, people, and it's totally fake. Uh, yeah, no it's, entry it's, for they're playing with fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, dog unknown. No! Oh, oh, look at all that blood. Oh, blood gushing oh. everywhere. He hit him with a baseball bat on his neck or something, and the guy's fatally down. A machete, a machete. A machete, right. But I think machetes are sharp, and if they hit your neck, at least they have the courtesy to have some blood squirt out. You didn't see a line of red? I thought I saw it. Barely. Barely. Yes, barely. When they discover the body, there'll be blood dripping out of that hole. But Enough with the helmet, please. No payoff either. They don't use the helmet for a gunshot. They don't use it to sneak up. They don't use the body thing. Then it's just in there. Hello. Wow, please. they got a multiple. Hello. Line two, please. Is Look at the, the buttons. dead or something? That's an office phone, Carl. Yeah, I know. And they're well, it is a mansion. What the one to call the maid? The maid got left the movie. Yeah, she was fired for drinking. But She's no, only making a mess anymore. There's no occupants in the house now that right. the monies are gone. And it smells great. You can't smell dead bodies. Oh, wait, the phone. Uh, uh, it uh. must also be dead. Duh. Yeah, right. Like that phone like, can be different. Encyclopedia Brown, he is not. But at least there's guns. Look at the way he handles it, too. I, I wouldn't even go look for shells. That would be that stupid. Yeah, me too. If I really had a gun, I wouldn't know what the hell to do. I have fired them in my life. But yeah. I, like, for instance, when you have the revolver, okay, no problem. But when you have that clicky, clicky gun, you know, you put the magazine in, I don't know, like, where is the safety? I don't know a thing about it. But he does. Put one in the chamber. I think we're finally getting towards the end, Carl. I think. Let's see what our time is here. Uh, we have 10 minutes approximately. It's 11. 
All right, so we get the big reveal. Keep. Let's see another room of this house. But why are they suspecting? I mean, the the husband is murdered. But why would they run here, suspecting he'd be here? What's this on the thrown around the bed? Why? It's it's absolutely. Wow. Well, what? It's, it's old people Instagram. <laughs> Our son, born and one year old. Duh. 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 Martin Zeka's birthday. Big secret. Martin. Damn, Gina. Listen, they, uh, this is a family secret and it's just on the bed. I think it's because the bastard son keeps left it, it right? out. Yeah. Oh, he left it out. But I think I it was reading for them it. them to find. I don't know. No, I don't think it was intended to be found. But they find all these red, they find everything. Oh, it says this is a smoking gun. <gasps> this is a smoking gun. It's it's the psycho school saying we discharged your son Martin four months ago. So basically, this kid's been hidden from Michael. He had no clue, even though he was pretty old when the kid was born. And the parents, or at least the mom, because the father died, put Martin in a psycho school. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shoes. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Wait so a minute. That's my hiding spot. That's yeah, what right. I do. I, I hide behind curtains. What's this lumpy curtain? Reveal! Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, Christ. He died for our sins. <laughs> Look, see, now it's bloody. Oh, by the way, all these dead bodies are breathing heavily. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see a lot of dead bodies, and I want you to look at them because they are breathing. He's doing it right here. Yeah. Whoa, oh, here's what? mom. No, it's the girlfriend. Oh, right, 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 right. And the phone's off the hook. The Mickey Mouse phone. Whoa! She has an eye patch and she's dressed up as... I, what? What's she dressed up as? Is it Christmas? So wait, the killer put an eye patch on her and the dressed killer her in dressed costume? the killer took out all his clothes, dressed up as Santa Claus, stood in a closet, hit her, killed her to death, redressed her up. Yeah, dressed her up as oh yeah, bashed her bloody head in, cleaned off all the blood, dressed her up with the eye patch and a, a do rag, what have you, bandana thing, and uh, left her there. No reason. You're a pirate corpse. I'm going to dress you up as a pirate corpse. Moving on. I hope I get my inheritance. What's in here? Oh! oh. <laughs> Obviously, the dog does not die. Dog, I think Sybil and the dog are the most talented people in this movie. Has the dog been fed? <laughs> Let's check. Has the dog been fed? Has the dog They're been playing fed? They're playing with fire. Dog has not no been entry. fed. Well, the dog is alive. I would have killed the dog, honestly. Who's in the closet? Oh, I hate when he does that. So annoying. Because he was in the uh, cellar. Oh, it's not the cellar. It's the attic. The cellar opposite. Polar opposite. The the polar opposite. A cellar. Up cellar. What a cute dog. This dog is so talented. They'd make him do so much. Again, no smell of body. I don't smell dead bodies at all. Uh oh, wow, look the scream, Martin. So, Martin, as artists do, they write their names, first name on it. It's just <laughs> wow, creepy. You know, my favorite. <laughs> oh tape, wow! Boom. And then Diana's... Martin's going to kill himself last. Well, Diane I, is the sister who's never in this movie. Oh, okay. Oh, what is it, boy? Look at these these dead bodies. <laughs> All right, so here it is. The sticking, rotting corpses of the mom and grandma. Please, audience, focus on the bodies because I thought they were going to get up and say, we're okay because they yeah. are breathing. These poor women are breathing heavily. You can see the feet are breathing. So Martin sleeps in the attic with the dead bodies. With them. That's right. With them. And he paints. And then he signs. You know, I have a Picasso. You could tell because he signed it with his first name, Pablo. Pablo. 
<laughs> Look, it's already moving. They're moving. No, the dog. The dog's the dog. under there. I don't buy it. Oh, what are you going to do? We got to get out of here. Big reveal. Ba 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 ba. <gasps> 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 I mean, those poor women, man. Yeah. With the hunting right. rhinoceros. Oh, locked so the attic, there? there's a lock. Yeah, and there's a lock so you can lock the people in the, uh, in the yeah, attic. Yeah, why would the lock be on the other side of the door to keep people in? Maybe. No, that is what it is. I mean, what's he saying? Turn it up. Oh, I always said the closed captioning. I'm a cuckoo. I'm a cuckoo. You want the money. Ah, oh, it's all tumbling into place. <laughs> I'm an actor. Yeah, at least he's trying. At least he's trying, Carl. Yeah, yep. The director was like, roll him. This director did a lot of B films. Uh, yeah. Uh, 11 B films between 72 and 87. He wrote everything he directed. He was born in Baghdad, Iraq. And he died in Dana Point, California. Not bad. At age 90. That's pretty good. He got a French-style romantic thriller that received an Academy Award nomination for Best Theme Song. Pretty lame. You know, I should mention, I recognize the uh, Jay he Richards. His wife. He was on Mama's Family. I don't know if you remember him. He's one of the sons. Who? Uh, Jay Richards, my Eric Brown. He played. Oh, uh, oh, oh, he played okay. Buzz Junior. Machete. Yeah, and he's tiptoeing. Well, he's slowly. What are they? What is it, boy? Why are you barking out the window? You want to go potty? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, ow! Ow! Kapow! Is this the end of whatever this is? Now, you should definitely take the mask off in a situation like this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's Peter Parker! Oh, you know, I already knew it was Peter Parker because you know that giant breaking news uh, monitor in Times Square that plays yeah. news at full volume? Whoa! Oh, big reveal. Wow. Uh. Oh, I finally popped one off. Nicholas <laughs> 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 interrupt us. <sighs> do another one, dude. Yeah, do, do one more. Why okay. tiptoe over? Cautiously, cautiously, because right. he's acting. Well, it's Harry Osborne. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? I don't remember. Oh, Bruce nothing, Harry. Wayne. It's oh, bird. That's right, that's right. That's why the roommate. I remember. That's why the roommate. Yeah, he's taking pills. So wait, he's... where does the roommate sleep? He sleeps in his house, or he sleeps in the attic? <laughs> He must sleep at the flat with nothing. Yes. Kate MPC, that's weird. It should be WMPC. No, don't even start. You know, why, so I, I, I was more, I'm more surprised why he would be working in a place that he walked off. Right. It's, they just, it's an added scene. They didn't know how to end, end this movie or they wanted to end it this way. But he always, in my eyes, was fired. So I was right. a little surprised. Nice car. Right, she looks gorgeous. And Don Knotts was pissed. Oh, man. I'm going to raise the volume at the end because it does one of those things. Speed Zone made fun of it. It's that there'll be an exterior shot and you can hear the audio of a person. But in real life, he, he would have to scream it. So uh -huh. that you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how can you hear it? So Look she's saying. She's a... Nice car. It's yours. I want to spend the some of the money. I'm going to Hawaii. You want to come with me? Really? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. See ya. I'm yeah, going to Hawaii this job with again. And he gets to drive. He's in control. Whoa. With oh, dog and the dog is there with the, with the bark, stupid bark, diamond. Bark, bark, bark. We can throw a lot. Bark, bark. 
I mean it is that the neighbors are like, stop yelling. We could hear you over that car driving away. Oh, here we go. I didn't They're mean it last playing time. With but fire. They're playing with fire. Well, that is it. Our second viewing of one of the great mishaps. Carl, what's you think of this movie? Um, I liked it. Uh, I think, you know, there's a million criticisms for why this is a piece of shit. And I still enjoyed it. I do. Maybe because I, I saw I... it from before and did like watched it four times way in the past. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. I, when I got to sit down and watch this movie, I was just dumbstruck about just the the chemistry is so bad, and that the the story just switches from a, a, what seems to be a noir to basically a a, a, car, a killer a story. I don't know. I I like this movie a lot. I'm glad we got to rewatch it. Uh, always great to see Sybil. Oh, uh, we saw all of her. We saw all of it. Well, uh, man. Yeah. And, th and that's, yeah. Oh, I'm kind of spent after this. Yeah, really? It doesn't make any sense. Well, all right. Uh, let's get it up for this movie. It's the second viewing. Uh, we're going to be watching another movie next week, uh, as we do. Uh, and... As usual, I forgot the movie. Carl, oh, what movie uh, yeah. again? Okay, next week it's we will watch room. Body Chemistry 2, The Voice of a Stranger, 1991. So if you want to prepare audience, it's Body Chemistry 2, The Voice of a Stranger, 1991. Should we see a trailer? Yeah, let's uh, we do a trailer and then maybe end with the Home Shopping Network. We're Body good. Chemistry 2, The Voice of a Stranger, 1991. Oh, crud. Give me a second. I just got out of my YouTube. My favorite part of the show where in real time I have to get my shit back together. I should have put you... in trailer. Okay. I think I... Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. there's a trailer. It's, Great. There's a channel called Vincent Dawn. Got it. And I already see Clint Howard on the cover. Clint Howard, yeah. Who it's all sarcastic. Ron Howard's brother and what's his name? Howard's son. Uh, oh, yeah. The the father. Of course. We saw him in Carnosaur. And uh, was he in Brain Dead? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, we want you to go ahead. If you want to join us uh, watching the trailer together, go to uh, click it. I forgot the name of it. I have it. I have okay. it set at zero, zero, zero. Body Chemistry 2, Voice of a Stranger, 1991. And the channel we like is Vincent Dawn. Vincent Dawn. That's what I'm thinking of. So go ahead. Hit the link. Hit pause. Move it to zero, zero. We're going to do it in three, two, one, go. I want you to open your mind to your deepest most secret thoughts. Yikes. The steamy sequel to one of the sexiest erotic thrillers of the decade. Ah, uh, that's opinion. It's chemistry. Simple body chemistry. Sex therapist Dr. Claire Archer is back to torment another man. Oh, yeah. What's on your mind? <laughs> I think I can help you, Dan. I think you could do big time. What? What? Junior. What's Morton Downey Jr.? Check the indemnity clauses. Force Acting? Body contact sports. Your radio star killed a man. Wow. Oh. He's smoking. Oh, no, it's Michael Myers. He always did until he had cancer. Until he died of lung cancer. What are you doing to me? Well, he became an anti-smoking activist, which is so stupid. Right. No, it was uh, self-serving. Because he was like, smoking is cool. You've got cancer. Smoking sucks. I have a right to smoke. It is a given right. Oh, guys, it's so bad. Yeah, don't do it. Whoa, she just cocked a revolver. And he knocked some stuff off a table. Gregory Harrison in Body Chemistry 2, The Voice of a Stranger. Next week.
on LWFLMOIT. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go back to the world of erotic thrillers and uh, back to even better. She's the sex therapist. Bingo Bango is back in body chemistry, too. <laughs> when he didn't want to have later. sex, he was therapist. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. But we are done. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our podcast and subscribing to our podcast, subscribing to our YouTube channel, listening to us live stream on uh, first stream on mutinyradio.fm. Mutiny Radio. Shout out. And you should donate to Mutiny. You could do it by going to the website, going to Patreon, and going to GoFundMe. We have all accounts for the station. Throw in a couple bucks. Keep the, the water running, as we say. Carl, thank you so much. Uh, anything you'd like to Stand say? Stand by for hand, hand chopping network with a little clip we should plug show you the before, clip right so, now otherwise people might leave yeah so stay tuned for the 1991 classic sketch the home chopping network from fish burgers we'll see you guys next week hi this is mindy welcome back to the hand shopping network we got a lovely hand up there right now this is our south paul special notice the bony feature of the hand look at the way it twists that watch around hey come on Hold the watch right. Look at the... Now, how much would you pay for this kind of a hand? All right? This is an expensive hand, I know. On the black market, this might go for what? $35, $40? Especially a, a nice young white boy like this one. All right, let's put the price up there. $14.99. $14.99 right now from the Hand Shopping Network. Oh, wait, we got a caller. Caller, are you there? Yeah, this is this is Elmer Johnson. I'm calling from Hayes, Kansas. Well, what do you think of this hand, Elmer? Well, I like it. I like the I like the bony fingers. That's bony, and that's that's a regular Spiegelman hand. Let me tell you. Now, what would you pay for that? I, I I'd pay at least nineteen ninety five for that hand. Well, how about I give it to you fourteen ninety nine? You want that hand? Well, that's great. You want that hand? Yes. You got it. Come on, ring that bell. Let's get that hand up here. Let me give this. Let me give you this hand. This hand will be for you. I love that hand. Thank you. Let me just try and get this hand for you. There we go. Let me just... I'm just going to try and get this hand for you. Let me just try. Good. Will you hold him still, please? There we go. I got it. Hey, this is a fake. God damn it. This is a fake. Let's watch a full length. Song. I, I'm Mike's friend. My turn ons are satin sheets. I love to be outdoors. Follow me on Twitter. Jokes to call. The French duh, not the duh duh. Let's watch a full length movie.